What's up everybody, Nick Legostava here and in this video I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Mex Fan Toys upscaled Jinbao version of Transformers 6 Shot. Now, I have this figure right here in front of me. And this is the upscaled version. So they had the small version, I believe it was Mex Fan Toys. However small they make those, that's not really what I collect. But this is what I beg like third party companies to do and KO companies to do is upscale the designs to more of a generation scale. And even for the people that want like the MP scale stuff, I just would love to see more of this. So without any further ado, let's get into the review. I'm gonna show him in all of his modes and I'm gonna show a lot of size comparisons because I think that's really important going into this because not a lot of people know about this. I have not really seen a full like in-depth review of this figure. So hopefully I do a good job here. So he retains pretty much all of the details he had on his Mex Fan Toys versions. As far as I know, it's just been upscaled. They might have added a few more paint apps in a few spots here. But without further ado, let's get into the articulation right off the bat. He has wrist swivel on both hands. He has ankle tilt that goes nicely all the way to the splits, except he just did a face plan into the ground there. So yes, he can do that. He can also do lots of different shoulder stuff if you move these flaps inward that's less accurate but he does have listen to this listen to this he does have ratcheted shoulders i mean you get that for this literally close to deluxe price for a voyager sized figure look at this nice ratcheted shoulders and they can go up i this is a little bit more animation accurate i'm also going to show him to his uh animation model to have him transformed like this but i'll show you how i prefer to have him transformed he also does come with these swords that peg right into the sides here and he also of course came with his guns right here but let's just put the swords in his hands for a second here they fit nicely there's not like tolerance issues like this is a very decent figure here it's better qc than most hasbro figures i've gotten and i believe this is i think this is my first third party review of a figure he's got a 90 degree knee bend there and it's also ratcheted very beautifully as you can hear there and then i also think these no those were just friction fitted i might have thought those were ratcheted he does have a swivel there what else does he have i don't really think he's missing anything he has waist rotation he has double jointed arms so he can reach all the way up there like that do all kinds of that he does not come with any decepticon symbols but i've looked at the animation model and the american version and the uh japanese version are a little bit different i do believe i'm going to put the decepticon symbols on him later in the video but let's compare him to his animation model and then we'll get into size comparisons so here is the japanese animation model here and you can see that he does not have the decepticon symbols on him and then this is some other animation model I was able to find. I think the colors are a little bit changed here, but it also shows all of his modes, which I'll compare to when I get him in those modes. But he does have the Decepticon symbols there. And yes, and then here is the little scale chart, and you'll see how accurate that is once we get the size, size, the size comparisons to him. So let's get those right here. We have the reissued Walmart exclusive Mind Wipe. We have a Decepticlone. We have <clears throat> Weird Wolf as well from that line they did. And then we have Optimus Prime. I will say at the head crest there, he's probably nearly the same exact height at the head crest. Like I put these two head to head. Let's see if I can get it on camera here without knocking a bunch of these over. Head crest to head crest area that he might be a little bit taller, but they're very close. So if you have Earthrise, Kingdom, or Netflix Optimus Prime, he's pretty much that height. And then he has other stuff, parts that hang over him. So there's those size comparisons. And then Galvatron, and then I'm also going to put Six Gun up here since I, I literally started this video off by messing up the name. And I was just like, oh, damn it, I got to redo that. So yeah, there's a bunch of size comparisons there. So yeah, he is a nice size, especially for the price and all the stuff that he gets to do and the quality of him. Very good looking there. So let's move all these size comparisons out of the way. I thought that was very important to put a lot of size comparisons because going into these upscaled figures, you really don't know what they're gonna do when it comes to size sometimes for them. Sometimes they go MP scale, 
and then sometimes we'll do this. I really wish they would do this with the Mech Fan Toys Octane here. I would love to see that. I would buy that instantaneously. And I just really wish these uh, KO companies and third party companies would just upscale their Legends scale designs to fit with Generations. That would just be epic because then I wouldn't have to rely on Hasbro and the uh, usually insane retail after prices like the, the Titans Return <clears throat> six shot is literally like a hundred dollars and some people are trying to get over a hundred dollars for them right now which is just ridiculous to me so i'm not gonna pay that for them but here's how i prefer to transform them i prefer to kind of have these kind of angled out and then this kind of angled up like that i think that just makes them look a little bit more menacing and then also the guns he doesn't really have too many uh ports on him besides the ports for the hands to I would like the War for Cybertron where you can put a bunch of stuff all over him. He doesn't really have too much of that. These almost look like a Minicon could fit on there. I probably should have grabbed one. I bet a Minicon could fit on that port. I don't know why, but he probably could. So there he is. And if you really wanted to be a little bit taller, I do actually plan to do a 3D print upgrade kit. Because really the only visible hollowness on this guy is the freaking bottom of the feet here. You can put your, your finger in there. But that's really not bad at all. I mean, you could go around this guy literally just... There's not gaping giant waffle holes of hollowness. You can just see of like every angle. Also, all the wheels are pinned on, so they roll good pretty much. You'll see that even more when we get them into vehicle modes. So yeah, he's very articulated. He's a very good price and he scales pretty decently with the other figures. So let's get him into some of his alt modes and talk about them as well. And yes, indeed. Mini cons do fit on that port. All right, got him transformed up into what the instructions call tank mode. And the instructions did not really do a great job of helping me get to this mode. I don't usually look at instructions, but this is a third party figure that has six different modes. So, hey, I had to do what I had to do. So that gave me a general idea how to do it, but there was still a lot of guesswork involved. And you can see in this mode, there is a bit of a misprint on my copy here of the window silver being painted down a little too far on that side. I could probably fix that if I wanted to, but I mean, again, this price is, it's deluxe price for a Voyager size figure with very, very quality feeling plastic. This really feels like 2005, 2006 level of plastic quality to me. And this actually rolls this amalgamation of a Cybertronian truck or tank or whatever you want to call this thing. It does roll and if you I still don't think you could fit the Titan Masters in there. No, that's way too small to fit those in there. I guess those could flip up to be little seats if you wanted up there at the little tire claws. It doesn't say that in the instructions, but you just peg the guns in on the side there. You can angle those however you want. You know, it could just be an armored up truck, space truck. I originally had the treads all flipped down. I'll show you what that looks like in this mode. I mean, it doesn't really... I mean, you could still even roll like that. You could flip the treads down and have this be like it has wheels and treads on it. Really, it's just kind of up to you however you want to do it in this mode. So let's get him into the next mode here. You could also angle out if you wanted more armament. If you just wanted this to be an ultra like death blow truck right there, you can angle out those guns. So it's all right. It's got some decent playability for what it is. Let's see if I can. I figured I'd throw this in real quick, a little comparison to the Titans Return one and to the animation model there. So you can see neither the Titan Return or the animation model or this look alike because it's all just <laughs> its own weird thing. But yeah, this does have the, the divots there, like the animation model had the knees. And I would imagine also probably like the G1 toy, since that's probably largely very close to what the G1 toy looked like in vehicle mode. So yeah, there you go. I guess I'll throw in a size comparison here. There is Siege Barricade doing a wheelie because I forgot to flip a panel down and I wasn't going to retransform it all the way. So yeah, that's what he's looking like next to a deluxe car. Just imagine him not doing the wheelie and sitting flat. But yes, that's what that's looking like. So not too bad. Like I said, decent Voyager size for close to deluxe price. And I have noticed, like I said, the two things is the silver paint there and there is a little divot down there looking like the plastic got melted or just was roughly taken off the sprue and has a dent luckily it's on the back and not on the front then i'd be i'd be pretty mad if that was on the front so without further ado let's get him into jet mode here he is in jet mode and i'll flip him around and i'll show you him on the top and the bottom here he is also compared to thrilling 30 blitzwing there transformed differently now the instructions show him flipped like this and with those little wings up 
but I mean honestly this way I mean either way it really doesn't matter it looks like some sort of Cybertronian jet so yeah I also angled those in to try to give the wings a little bit more of a wing feel and also I think this mode just looks a little bit better because that little molded in detail right there looks like intakes of some sort those look like little like vortex generators or whatever you want to say and then you still have some type of cockpit from the truck mode there and I don't know this still looks a little bit more like a jet from this side so yeah there's the size comparison to him they're actually pretty pretty close in size there so pretty big voyager to transform into a jet compared to him so let's flip this over here and let's show this compared to the animation model and the titans return one so there's the animation model there's definitely more purple that's what probably why they have <clears throat> that's actually why I just flip this around so that all the purple is kind of up there because in the way they want you to do it It's still covered up by that black right there. So there's that like that And there is the Titans return one like I said, I, I don't have that So it's probably a little bit bigger since that was a leader class figure. So yeah jet modes are <laughs> Like with these figures that transform into a bunch. It's really just up to interpretation Like you could transform this probably in like ten different ways and call it a jet Like you could just have these out here. You could have these popped in a different place pop them there Oh, it's it's a jet, you know something like that. So yeah, that was jet mode. Let's get him into his other mode Here he is in tower mode. No, just kidding. Here he is in submarine mode. No, just kidding again Here he is in gun mode. That actually looks pretty cool. That actually fits in the hand some somewhat well looks pretty good honestly how i did it I, there was no thing in the instructions for this is just kind of fan mode i guess of it but that actually looks relatively close to the g1 gun mode there there it is right there i actually decided to just throw that image in here as well as the animation it doesn't have those type of blasters it's just got the blasters from robot mode pinned in up top and then the titans return one shows it as a submarine right there but yeah, that actually is a pretty decent Cybertronian gun mode to hold. That's pretty cool. So honestly, that's a, I was surprised. That's that's one of my favorite modes on this thing. It was not expected at all, but let's get him into another mode. This is a long video, but here he is in wolf mode, and he actually has some posability in this mode. The front of this looks pretty awesome. That looks definitely like a Cybertronian animal that's ready to just rip something apart. So that looks pretty cool. The back, I mean, it looks kind of wonky, but it's better than the Titans Return one. I'll show you that in a second after I get to posability in this mode. So you do have the arms turned around there for the, the knee of the front leg of the wolf mode. You still have the shoulder too, if you want to do that. So you can definitely do a lot of running still in this mode. And like I said, the same thing on the other side, that swivel is the swivel that swivels the arm completely around to have the, the little toes up front there. And I also angled these swords up so they look like kind of like spines on it. I actually meant to have that flip the other way, so just ignore that. Pretend these are both angled down like that. And then the back legs here, they're just that split apart, but you still even have a knee on that. I don't know if the Titans Return one had that or not, so you still have a knee there if you want to bury some dog not dog poop i guess wolf poop <laughs> uh in robot mode there so yeah and then the head can go up look up like that the eyes are these awesome like tin foil red that look like they're glowing and it's not light piped i love those type of eyes i don't know why hasbro doesn't do those type of eyes it's usually third party companies and stuff like that but those eyes look awesome on the wolf head i'm not even kidding those look really good they look even better in person than on camera so that's awesome. The wolf teeth here are uh, pretty sharp, so watch so you don't slice yourself on that. The mouth does open and close on that. So honestly, I like this mode more than I thought. I'm actually probably going to end up getting multiple of these guys. So probably around uh, Black Friday, they'll probably even have a sale that's even a few bucks off of this. I just imagine they do most of the things direct from China have that. I guess you also have that if you want it. But without further ado, let's get him into another mode. I mean, it really seems like I've done more than six. After knocking down my custom side swipe off this desk, here he is compared in wolf mode to Titans Returns. That definitely looks better. I will say this is a mode that he is a lot stronger in than the Titans Return one. And then up there, there he is with more of the wolf with wings type deal that the G1 model has there that was off the screen a moment ago. But yeah, 
he looks pretty good in this mode. I honestly did not think he was going to look that great in this mode. You'd also just see that the red eyes just shining on the camera there for a second. But yeah, there's the Wolf with Wings mode. It seems like that's the more preferred way. I just had to glance at the instructions and saw that he had it all tabbed into some sort of like gun thing, but that looks pretty cool too. Here he is in Ultra Death Murder Mode turret slash hover tank slash APC. I don't even know what to call this thing. It's just Cybertronian Murder Death. So yes, this mode is honestly, it took a little while to get here, but I got here. I just decided to peg those in, but I'll take those off real quick for you. And then I'll have a size comparison here in a moment as well. So yes, like I said, I do have a 3D print upgrade kit for this figure planned. I will do that. And that will have the feet be a little taller. So he'll be a little bit taller. And these in this mode will be improved because I'm going to mold in like rocket detailing there. So that's going to look even more awesome. So yes, there he is in that mode. Let me get Blitzwing here. Here is Legacy Blitzwing. So this mode, it does not have any like wheels for him to actually roll on, so he does have to slide right along that painted detail, so you'd probably scratch that if you wanted to do that. But all in all, that thing is uh, that thing is definitely folded up into a box of guns, huh? Yeah, so this also, I just, I still love how good this rolls, right? <laughs> yeah, so there's Blitzwing compared to him. So all in all, I'm gonna transform this back into robot mode. I know this is a very long video, but if you are this far in the video, hopefully you can make it to the end. And if you do make it to the end, or even if you make it this far, tell me what you're thinking of this figure, because honestly, for the price, this is unbeatable. Because when you look at that Titan's Return figure, it's pretty good, but honestly, the price for it on the aftermarket is just not worth it to me. If I could get it for maybe like an actual leader class price or close to it, I might would pick it up still, but this figure, he's pretty accurate. Like he has some more painted detailing than the animation model, but like I said, it's pretty close and this figure is awesome. He does a lot of stuff. He honestly pulls off his alt modes better than I thought he was going to. I thought they were gonna be a little bit more wonky than they are. Things tab in pretty well in the modes and he is very solid. The tolerance is a pretty solid as so I literally just popped off something this is the first time I've had something pop off on this guy so yeah just be careful on that but other than that yes tolerances are great plastic quality is pretty great and uh, let me just I love those elevator hands I know I probably put that clip somewhere else in here but yes I do love elevator hands and I love this figure it's great I hope they do more upscales like this I mean I just I love it and also those eyes look at those eyes with those like the tin foil on on robot mode it's a little harder to get the light to hit it perfectly right for it to gleam i mean it still looks better than like light pipe eyes but yeah when you get light in there with that like foily red eyes those look cool the head sculpt i do wish it didn't like kind of narrow down like that but there is a lot of like concept art of uh, six shot like that. I almost keep wanting to say six gun. I know the characters are completely different and speaking of six gun Did I even show him size compared in the other mode? I think I did but there we go again Yes, I know they're different characters. I'm very well aware, but it's very kind of hard. They both have six in the name so it's just How my mind works it likes to confuse them So yes, very good figure very good tolerances on my copy Also, you'll see I did put the Decepticon symbols on there. I do plan to put them on the wings as well so yes, I love this. And also, like I said, 3D upgrade kit, I will be designing it and I'll try to get that out in a timely manner. I might even redo the head and make the head even more accurate and not have that like angle to it, but we'll see. I also do like how the swords peg in here. Let's peg those in one last time and we'll send this review off with a thank you to all the subscribers. And if you're new, decide if you want to subscribe. Be sure to drop a like, drop comments. I read them all. Have a great one. Peace. Bye-bye. This is a great figure. How they don't even try to say what that is. They just say vehicle mode, unlike the other modes that they have pretty much labeled. Also, yeah, this did have a gun mode in it, but I like how I did it better than that. So, yeah. Also, the handle on that just looks chank. I did it I did it better. I gotta say, I did it better. But, yeah. Let's get into the little comparison into this. I already know I transformed him back into the robot mode. But, yeah, there he is in APC mode 2, the Titans Return one. There he is in APC mode compared to the animation model. There he is in the APC Cybertronian whatever mode compared to the G1 toy right there. So yeah, they all kind of do their own thing. The modes are kind of varied, but they all do it pretty well. I mean, even back to the G1 toy, it does pull off the modes. It just doesn't have the articulation. 
and you know I gotta say this new one is at a very fair price a lot more fair of a price than what the Titans return one is going for now so honestly I highly recommend this figure it's not masterpiece scale it is more generation scale he's a little bit small for the character but a decent Voyager is passable enough for six shot and I definitely think the price is fair enough for it and like I said 3d print upgrade kit for this guy hopefully coming relatively soon so stay tuned peace bye bye for real this time Jinbao please up scale these figures they're just waiting for it they're just waiting to be upscaled do it I mean next to this generation tracks he looks like an official figure I'd say that's the kind of stylization he has. He still has that G1 look, but he has that semi-stylized that the like 2010-ish era generations have. He has that little bit of stylization to him. That's how I can describe how he looks. What is up everybody? Nick Lego Stava here, and in this video I'm gonna be reviewing. I believe this was originally Mex Fan Toys version of Six Gun. But now it is Jin Bao's upscaled version of Transformers, the Headmasters, and also the three episode season four of Transformers Six Gun. So now I better have not. Is it Six Shot or Six Gun? God fucking cop. Bitch! I meant to take a fucking picture. And actually, earlier. 